hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's tutorial i am going to be showing you guys how to give an access to someone else in your shopify store so basically you are going to give someone an access in your store um and this will be either um, a shopify developer or someone whom you want them to customize your store like maybe adding products description or you want to fix your setting section but basically you're going to add an extra person who is going to have an access in your shopify store so i am going to show you how you can do that and so you first you're gonna need to log in in your shopify store and here i am uh, on the background of my shopify admin page and what i'm going to do i am going to click settings down here so let's click settings and then after that we are going to click users and permission so here we are so um you can see here on the users and permission this is where you're going to um give a permission to someone so basically you're going to add a staff um so far uh you can see here the store owner is anthony jason um and uh this is the store owner and they have permission that can be assigned to um a staff so this this person have the full ownership um if for example if you want to transfer ownership this will be like a different shopify tutorial if you want me to do that leave me a comment down below so um now let's go and add staff so we're going to customize what my staff members or what your staff members can edit and have an access in your store and basically shopify will let you have up to two staff members on this plan um you can also if you want to add more than two staff you can compare the plans so now let's click add staff so let's say as i said before if you want to hire maybe a graphic designer or a web developer to edit or redesign your website you can do that so the only thing you're going to need to give them access on your shopify store is only on the specific section so it has like so many sections here so you are going to pick like specific section so um, first of all you're gonna have to fill in the information about this person so if this person's name was um, Jeffrey so you're gonna put Jeffrey so we're going to put their last name and we're going to add the email so Jeffrey John at gmail Dot com so this is the stuff that we are going to give um, an access so Shopify will give you the selection here like so this staff will have permission on the following things so you're going to pick section so let's say if you want this person to work on your online store then maybe they want to fix their theme you can do that or like navigation or domains blog posts and stuff like that or it's just like a general thing um you can also select that so let's say um if you want to give this person like permission on everything you can click select all and they can have access on everything but sometimes you really don't want to give access to everybody because uh you really can trust anyone to have like permission or for example like on your shopify payment section or like to view your billing and receive billing emails like stuff like that some of the things they're like really really sensitive so um let's say i am going to give um jeffrey um an access to maybe like my home section like on in orders or i don't want the person to see my orders or i want this person to work on my product so i'm just gonna give uh jeffrey um in my home section product um my themes um and different navigation as well as blog posts and pages so once you picked all the uh the section that you want this person to have like a permission then you can click here send invite and also there is another section if you want this person to manage and install apps on your channel like maybe add delete or access any installed app or channel you can do that as well uh, or if you also if you want this person to approve application charges you can also do that but again um what i like about adding staff section on shopify is because you can give um limited access to that person that you want them to have an access and and they won't have control on your entire store that's what i like so every of your sensitive information if you don't want them to uh know about it they won't 
be able to see that so after that you can click here send invite and shopify will say john jeffrey john has been invited and they will receive the invitation and you can see here on your staff section um, you can see jeffrey john has been added and they have a limited permission and the invite has been sent so this is how you can add staff and give permission to the person so once the person receives an email they'll be able to click it and get in in um inside your shopify store so basically shopify will make sure this link is very safe and secured and they can get in and confirm if they are the real person like jeffrey john and they can get in your store so that was only for adding stuff you can also add different collaborators so let's say if you want to give um designer um so basically this will give um designers developers and marketer access to your shopify admin they really don't um they really don't count toward your staff limits and if you want to learn more about this you can just click learn more about collaborators and you will learn more information about it so basically anyone can send a, a collaborator request and you can select that if you want anyone to do that or if you want only a person with a collaborator request code can send a collaborator request you can also do that so this is how you can do it so this is how you can um um send invitation to different stuff i hope you like today's tutorial and if so if you did please leave me a comment down below like this video and for more tutorials like this and leave me a comment down below to let me know what do you think about today's tutorial and if you have any question leave me a comment as well down below and i will get back to you um thank you guys for watching my video and i'll see you guys on the next tutorial